tonight, the Michigan Department of Natural Resources is increasing the amount of so-called nuisance animals that can be killed without a permit. The acting director of the DNR making that change despite opposition from some environmental advocates. News Ace Dimitri Sanders has this story on New at 7. The DNR says the changes to the state's nuisance wildlife regulations will help landowners and reduce administrative burden. Meanwhile, those in opposition say it doesn't take into account the animals that it will impact. We know biodiversity is crashing worldwide and increased human presence. We have to make room for animals and part of that is tolerance. Trish Marie has advocated for Michigan wildlife for years. She's one of many advocates upset about the Michigan DNR adding to its list of nuisance animals that can be killed by private landowners without a permit. We are pushing the animals out of their home. So when we see them in, in what was their home and now is our backyard, who is actually being the nuisance here, uh, the humans or the animals? Previously, woodchucks, skunks, raccoons, and coyotes could be killed year-round when they were doing or were about to do damage. Now, certain types of squirrels, cottontail rabbits, and beavers, among other species, are a part of that group when they are doing damage or physically present where it could imminently cause damage. The change was approved by DNR Acting Director Shannon Lott in response to growing damage complaints. In a statement to News 8, Michigan DNR Public Information Officer Ed Golder writing in part, quote, because these species are already being removed under written permit and the revised order specifies the situations in which these species can be taken, we do not expect a significant increase in the number of animals taken or any population level impacts but wildlife advocates remain concerned. The welfare of the animals and the consideration of the animal's experience, pain, suffering, etc., is not part of the decision-making process at all. And Tammy Levich says there are ways to prevent animals from damaging property that doesn't involve killing them. If you just put a little bit of time and effort and research into it, tons of resources available for how to coexist with animals in our, in our lives. Now, under the amendment, animals that are killed can be disposed of at the discretion of the property owner. In Grand Rapids, Demetria Sanders, News 8.